Waffle Days tomorrow, but we had to celebrate. Well, today, we're off right? tomorrow, right? right? Yeah, so we had to bring in uh, Adam Kovac from uh, Breadwinners Cafe to share a terrific idea. This is kind of this is what we would call a Texas twist. Absolutely. For uh, in celebration of National Waffle Day, we're going to uh, we're going to run a special waffle this weekend. Um, so we're doing a baked pecan waffle today, and then we're going to make a, a Texas peach bourbon sauce to go on top of it, and then serve it up with a little bit of uh, local vanilla bean ice cream. Why okay. not? So uh, we're going to start by making the sauce here, and we're going to start out with some butter, brown sugar, and some nice local Texas peaches. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to let all this cook down and make a nice caramel sauce here. And then to give it a nice... Nice, good flavor. We're actually going to take a whole, uh, or actually half of a vanilla bean pod here, and we're going to scrape out the seeds and throw that in. It's going to give it a nice depth of flavor. And that then little bit of amount makes that makes a big difference. It's, huh? it's, I, that much of a difference. Me, yeah. And it's really nice compared to uh, you know using a vanilla extract. It adds a great depth of flavor. Okay. So we're basically just going to let all this come together. And you got plenty of sugar, obviously, in the brown sugar, but you're using the the Lots of sugar in the peaches as well. Right? Oh, absolutely. They're yeah. nice and sweet. This mm -hmm. is a great time of year for the, uh, the Texas peaches. Now, when I pick out a peach, help me out here, Adam. Do I want one that's a little bit soft? Absolutely. You're going to want to, um, the best thing is to take the bottom of it and smell it. Okay. And when it smells nice and sweet, you yeah. know, you've got in a little tender, that's when you know you've got a real good oh, peach. Yeah. And just, just a little bit soft, but still got plenty of firmness on the inside. Absolutely. Okay. And then to really set this dish off, we're going to use some bourbon. Just a little bit, <laughs> and we're going to let that cook off, let all the alcohol cook off, so we more or less just get the, uh, the essence of the flavor. Right. I guess you could leave the alcohol in if you really wanted to have a nice brunch. <laughs> but. And then the, uh, the last step for the sauce, we're just going to add a little bit of heavy cream to kind of help hold it all together, give it a nice body. And our waffle should be just about ready here. So we've got oh, a, yeah, what's in so there? So we've got a Belgian waffle with pecans baked inside. Oh, okay. So we're going to wow. quarter to this up. My weakness at your restaurant is the I bread the, that you uh, guys do. Grab the ice cream. Ice cream, okay. We'll get some, we'll get some ice cream. All right, and this is going to go right over the top. See, I got my hands on the plate, which means, yeah, you, you know, may put I, get, I get first dibs. <laughs> I'll, be, uh, I'll be careful here. Oh, I know. All right. So we're going to finish it up right there. There you go. And there's your ice cream. A little hot, the, uh, little cold. The vanilla bean ice cream from Henry's in Plano, local vanilla bean ice cream. And then just to really get a nice little garnish on it, we're going to put some candy pecans over the top of it. And that's just really going to kind of give a good texture. And this will actually be on the menu tomorrow? This is going to be the special waffle at all four locations, uh, Saturday and Sunday. So happy. you can only get it this weekend. Come in this happy weekend. Happy National Waffle Absolutely. Day. Absolutely. Happy <laughs> There you go. We've got the recipe on our website, myfoxcfw.com, and a link to breadwinners as well.